Hi, this is JB from Not Lights Over Arkham. In this Hero Pack Focus, we are looking at the brand new War Machine Hero Pack that just got released here in Finland, so let's get started. So the War Machine Hero Pack just got released here in Finland. I think we got it a bit early here. Well, uh, I'm not complaining, so let's start looking through the hero pack. So uh, War Machine comes with a pre-built uh, leadership deck with a bunch of uh, leadership allies, which are pretty familiar if you have the core set. But uh, first, let's start by going through the cards in the uh, War Machine signature card set. So first off, we have James Rhodes. So uh, James Road has a recovery of 3, Alter Ego side reads uh, Shield, Soldier, Action, choose a War Machine card in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. Post response, after you change to this form, discard each ammo counter from your identity, hand size is 6 and hit points 10. So uh, a lot of War Machine's cards add ammo counters on uh, war machine which uh, are needed to play some of the cards so we're getting in those in a moment but first let's flip to hero mode side and we have war machine uh, one four two attack two defense uh, avenger soldier lock and loaded response after you change to this form place five ammo counters on war machine uh, hand size is five and hit points ten so you get 5 ammo counters immediately when you turn into War Machine Hero Mode so that you can uh, use those counters to play other cards. So nothing special before we look at the other uh, signature cards, so let's continue. Uh, the signature ally is of course Iron Man, uh, if we remember from the core set, the Iron Man signature ally is War Machine. So Again, they are doing the same thing as with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy or, or some of the like uh, Ant-Man and Wasp and etc. So Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark is a 3 cost ally, 2-4 to four, two attack, uh, Avenger, 3 health, response after Iron Man enters play, search your deck and discard pile for a tech upgrade and add it into your hand. Shuffle your deck and Iron Man can be committed as a physical resource. So um, this combos well with decks that use a lot of tech cards. As uh, with Iron Man Hero, you are playing a lot of tech cards. So this uh, is a really playable ally and um, if we look into more of uh, War Machine's cards, there are a lot of uh, tech cards in the signature cards. So this combos really well with the War Machine's own cars also. Uh, then uh, we'll continue to Vision's Bunker. It is uh, two cost support, location shield. After uh, Alter Ego action, Exhaust Munitions Bunker, place two ammo counters here. Hero action, Exhaust Munitions Bunker, move each ammo counter here, War Machine. So uh, this is a way to get ammo counters War Machine, so when you're in Alter Ego, you lose your ammo counters, but you can build up ammo counters while you're at, uh, at uh, the Alter Ego side. And when you flip to Hero Mode, you can use the Hero Action Exhaust Munitions Bunker to get those cards uh, or those uh, am munition, uh, I mean, ammo counters onto the War Machine Hero. And this can be also committed as a physical resource. So, are good? hard to um, combo with uh, the ammo counter play style. Uh, next we have a 3 cost upgrade, upgraded classes. It's an armor tech card, war machine gains the aerial trait, hero response. After you change to hero form, exhaust upgrade classes. Uh, give war machine a tough status card and it can be committed as a mental resource. So, uh, it combos with cards that need aerial, but it also gives you tough, so uh, you are more resilient to damage when you flip to hero mode and are taking 
bunches, so uh, it uh, cost a tree, so not sure if that's too much, but we'll see. Next up we have the Gauntlet Gun. There are two copies of this. So, uh, Gauntlet Gun is a two cost upgrade, tech, weapon, resource, exhaust Gauntlet Gun, generate a wild resource for War Machine event and place one ammo counter on War Machine and it can be committed as a, a physical resource. So, uh, these are pretty good, uh, you can generate ammo counters on War Machine and generate resources, so you pretty much want these into play, and uh, that will uh, boost your gameplay up quite a bit. Next up uh, we have a Missile Launcher, it's a one upgrade tech weapon, hero action attack, exhaust, Missile launcher and remove one ammo counter from the war machine. Deal two damage to an enemy. This attack gains range and it can be committed as a mental resource. Uh, so, missile launcher is pretty simple. Uh, so, each turn you get, get to deal two damage by removing an ammo counter and exhausting this. So, if you get cards that uh, let you ready uh, tech cards. Uh, or upgrades, then you can use this multiple times as long as you have ammo counters. So, uh, up pretty good uh, extra damage dealing card. Uh, then we have shoulder cannon. It is a two cost upgrade tech weapon, hero action attack, exhaust shoulder cannon, uh, deal one damage to an enemy. You may remove one ammo counter from war machine to ready shoulder cannon. So, you can. Uh, just keep on firing as long as uh, you have ammo counters left, so this is, seems pretty good. You can, uh, depending on if you have enough ammo counters, just uh, tailor this to deal enough damage to defeat a minion or something similar. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource, so pretty interesting card. Uh, then we have the first event. So, uh, Repulsor Beam, there are two copies of this. So, uh, Repulsor Beam is a one cost event. Attack, hero action attack, remove one ammo counter from the war machine, deal four damage to an enemy, and this can be committed as an energy resource. So, uh, remove one counter from war machine, deal four damage to an enemy, it only costs one, so as long as you have plenty of ammo counters, then this is a really efficient way to deal damage, and it can be um, dealt to the villain or minion, so pretty good altogether. Then uh, we have a targeted strike, and there are two copies of this. So targeted strike is one cost event. Port, uh, hero action port, remove one ammo counter from four machine, remove three threats from a scheme. And this can be also committed as an energy resource. Again, uh, only costs one, and you also have to remove an ammo counter paid, but still, three threat for one and one ammo counter. I think it's a good deal altogether. Uh, next, we have Scorch Earth. It is a three cost event, and there are two copies. So, Scorch Earth is a tactic hero action. Uh, remove three ammo counters from the war machine, deal three damage to each enemy in play, and this can be committed as a, a mental resource. Uh, three ammo counters and cost of three seems quite steep, but it is uh, AoE damage, so if there are a lot, a lot of enemies in a multiplayer game, I think this is a really powerful card because it also deals damage each enemy in play, so or also your uh, fake friends or, or like uh, multiplayer players, everyone gets their enemies or minions uh, damaged by this, so pretty good AoE. And lastly, the last uh, signature card is Quoto. It is a two cost event, there are two copies of this. Uh, uh, Full Auto is an attack, 
hero action attack, remove 4 ammo counters from war machine and choose an enemy, deal 8 damage to that enemy if that... Uh, actually... Yeah, deal 8 damage to that enemy, this attack gains overkill. So... Uh, yeah, 4 ammo counters is quite steep, but still it deals 8 damage, so this is the uh, equivalent to web kick for example with spider-man so eight damage but only cost two but you need to have the ammo counter so you need to boost up ammo counters to be if you uh, want to uh, be able to use this in addition to all of the other cards that require ammo counters and this can be committed as a physical resource so those are all of the uh, signature cards for war machine next up we'll start looking to the leadership cards that come with the pre-built deck. So first off, we have Black Panther, uh, Chala. So Black Panther is a 4 cost ally with 2 core and 2 attack. And now this you get uh, 2 consequential damage when using those. Avenger Wakanda and 4 health. Uh, you may play the event at that Black Panther as if it were in your hand. Once after Black Panther enters play, choose a leadership blue event in your discard file and attach it face down. And it can be committed as a uh, mental resource. So uh, instead of using Black Panther just to attack on board, uh, he will fetch a leadership event which you can play anytime. So uh, I think that is a good ability. But. Uh, it depends on the events you are playing with, so we'll see how Black Panther functions. Next, uh, we have Captain Marvel, the leadership ally version. So it is uh, uh, Captain Marvel is a uh, five cost ally, uh, two sword, three attack, and takes two consequential damage when attacking. Aerial Avenger for health. Response after Captain Marvel and display discard the top four cards. Check. If you discard a printed energy resource, deal 3 damage to an enemy. If you discard more than one printed uh, energy resource, also stun that enemy. And uh, Captain Marvel can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, quite powerful ability. Uh, as we saw, there are a lot of uh, energy resource cards. Uh, War Machine's signature cards. And uh, this is, well, uh, we'll see there are some in the pre-built deck also more so the more you have uh, uh, energy resources the better so i think this is a pretty huge car but five cost is a, a bit steep so we'll see you you probably need to have a uh, couple resources to be able to pick up the marvel efficiently Next up, we have a reprint of Falcon, so not talking that much about Falcon. It is the same ability as uh, with the previous version that came in, if I remember correctly, uh, in uh, Captain America. And another reprint is Goliath. Again, it is a reprint, so not talking about that much. And it came in uh, Ant-Man. Then we have a new support card. It is the command team. So, uh, command team is a uh, two cost support, uh, shield traded, use three command counters, action, exhaust command team, and remove one command counter from it. Ready an ally, and it can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, if you are playing a, a deck that uses allies that exhaust for something, can use those allies multiple times by having command teams in play and of course you get the full uh, set of three of these but uh, two cost supports that really only ready is an ally not sure maybe a good maybe not we'll see then we have one pretty powerful card so sneak attack there are three copies of this of course so sneak attack is a one cost event action choose an ally in your hand that shares a trait with identity put that ally into play if that ally is still in play at the end of the phase discard it and this can be committed as a, 
uh, and uh, physical resource. So just imagine playing, uh, putting an, for example, Hulk into play, or if, you're, if you can play uh, aggression allies. Well, of course, any ally that costs a lot can just play it and use it, and then it gets discarded, but that's okay. You can fetch it back to another card from the discard. Next we have Save the Day. So, Save the Day is a one-cost event. Tactic, hero action, discard an ally you control, remove threat from a scheme equal to that ally's printed cost, and uh, this can be committed as a mental resource. So, comboing with sneak attack. You play Captain Marvel with sneak attack, uh, use Captain Marvel, then you play Save the Day, discard that an ally you control, remove threat from the from a scheme equal to that ally's printed cost, so remove 5 and you only use 2 resources, so a pretty powerful combo with uh, Save the Day and Sneak Attack and for example Captain Marvel. And next we have Go Down Swinging, and by the way I'm loving the Spider-Man art here. So uh, Go Down Swinging is a zero cost event tactic. Hero action, discard an ally you control, deal damage to an enemy equal to that ally's printed cost, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So, same with the save the day, uh, you can deal quite a lot of damage with this one. So, I'm actually loving these cards. That, that makes a new deck archetype where you just uh, sneak attack in allies that cost a lot and then just discard them. Have a great effect. Uh, then we have a couple of make the calls, which are reprints. We have uh, um, innovation, uh, which we had in uh, the Mad Titan Shadow in the Adam Warlock deck. So uh, just quickly going through innovation. It's a resource card, max one per deck. Hero response. After you spend this card, heal one damage from an ally you control, and this can be committed as a uh, wild resource. So. Uh, Combos well with leadership and allies, so not talking that much about it. Uh, then we have a reprint of uh, Mockingbird, reprint of Wing Carrier. Then we have the new team up card for uh, War Machine and Iron Man. So two against the world, three cost event, team up Iron Man and War Machine, max one per deck. Hero action, search your deck for a tech upgrade and put it into play. Shuffle your deck, ready Iron Man and War Machine, and this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, there is another copy of this in the um, basic cards, in the extra cards that come in this pack. Then uh, we have the basic resources, three, so energy, genius, and strength. And that was the whole pre built deck for War Machine. Uh, I think now we can look at the uh, obligation and nemesis decks. So first, let's look at the obligation. So equipment malfunction obligation give to the James Rhodes player. Uh, you may flip to alter ego form choose uh, exhaust James Rhodes, remove equipment of malfunction uh, malfunction from the game, or uh, remove all ammo counters from your identity. If two or fewer ammo counters were to remove this way, this card can search, this card is obligation. And it has two boost icons. So, um, uh, it's pretty basic, so it uh, can be removed by exhausting uh, uh, alter ego form. And uh, if you can't do that, then just remove some ammo, ammo counters. And that is it. Nothing really special. Next, we have the Nemesis minion, which is a Living Laser. So, Living Laser is a minion. Uh, one scheme, two attack. Uh, criminal, four health. Uh, quick strike. Uh, star, Living Laser attacks, gain piercing. Four machine Nemesis minion and two boost icons. So, uh, a quick strike enemy with piercing. So, even if you get tough. With War Machine, uh, Living Laser will pierce through that. So, uh, 
So nothing really special. The quick strike also always hurts, but it is what it is. Then we have the Nemesis side scheme. So uh, deadly light show. It is a side scheme. Uh, hinder plus uh, hinder one per player. When defeated, deal one damage to each identity. And it has the crisis symbol, so you can't work the main scheme when this is in play. And it comes in play with three threats and has three boost icons. So if you are playing two solo, this will come into play with four threats. So pretty basic. Uh, then we have laser strike, and there are uh, three copies of laser strike. So, uh, laser strike is a treachery. When revealed, discard an upgrade you control. If you cannot, discard can search and uh, boost ability. If this resolves during an up defended attack, discard an upgrade you control. And it has a boost icon and a boost action. And those were all the cars that came in the pre built War Machine deck. Pretty interesting. I'm really looking forward to playing this, but before that, let's quickly look at the rest of the new cards that come in the War Machine Hero Pack. So first off, we have as one for Aggression. There are, of course, three copies of this. As one is a two-cost event. It is an attack, alliance, a new keyword. Not sure what that means, but we'll probably figure that out later. Uh, hero action attack exhaust an avenger character and a guardian character deal x damage to an enemy where x is the combined attack of those characters this uh, can, uh, attack gains overkill so i'm thinking um, alliance means that you have to have uh, avengers and guardians or something like that but interesting makes you build decks that won't spam only Guardians or only Avengers. Then we have the Justice card Vigilant Training. So it is a condition, max 2 per deck. So there are only 2 copies. Um, uses 2 training counters, alter ego action, exhaust this card and remove 1 training counter from it. Choose a Justice yellow event in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. Okay, well. First off, the art here is amazing. It is uh, pre-shadowing that we will be getting some of the uh, defenders, probably like Daredevil, Electra, Punisher, later on, hopefully soon, because I, I really like those uh, low-key heroes. But yeah, exhaust this card and remove one training counter from it. So you basically get to fish uh, uh, justice cards from your discard with this, so pretty interesting. And then we have uh, Stand Together, it is the protection card. Again, it's an alliance card and three copies. Hero Interrupt, when a friendly character would take any amount of damage from an attack, exhaust Avenger uh, character and Guardian character, prevent all of that damage, deal that much damage to the attacking enemy. So, a pretty powerful uh, protection card. You just need to have the um, Guardians and Avengers play at the same time. So, looking forward to building a deck around this idea. The last new card is uh, the basic card Sidearm. There are the three copies of this. So, uh, Sidearm is a one cost upgrade. It is a weapon attached to an ally, max one per ally. That's a ally gets plus one attack and its attack gains range, so it ignores uh, retaliate. And this can be committed as a, a physical resource. So uh, this goes pretty well in the um, archetype decks that uh, pay upgrades to allies, like, like the Iron Man or Ronin boosting uh, decks. So, a good uh, basic card for those. And lastly, we have the second copy of the Two Against the World. So that is everything that came in the War Machine Hero Pack. 
So, uh, I will be sleeping up the deck and playing a game soon enough. So, look forward to the gameplay video. Uh, hope you guys like this Hero Pack focus. Thanks for watching and until next time.